Hey guys, okay, so this is my St. Patrick's Day treats, and I know this is a late video, but I really wanted to put it up, so here you go, and these treats don't just have to be made during St. Patrick's Day, you can make them year-round, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and thank you so much for watching. So for the shamrock shake, you're going to need vanilla and the ice cream, green food coloring, and then peppermint and extract, and milk. I got the boy! Can you give a kiss? Right on the cheek. A sad moment. <laughs> and then whipped cream. So then you're just going to take the ice cream and you're going to put it in there. You can take it to everyone's cheek. And there's actually supposed to be measurements, but I wasn't doing that because I'm a rebel. You know. You know. So I'm just, I just put my milk in there and I put however much I wanted it, depending on how, how much you want thick. And then I put my green food coloring and then my peppermint extract. Now with the peppermint extract, you do not need very much at all. Just a little, like like spray of it I guess I could say, you could say so after I get done blending it up I'm just gonna pour it in my tiny mason jar cup and put some whipped cream on it and that is how you make the uh, shamrock shake so good guys it is so good not gonna lie I was very proud of myself so I guess we could call this the shamrock float so what you will need is sprite uh, vanilla and ice cream and green food coloring and whipped cream so you're just going to put your um, ice cream in there and then you're going to pour your float in there now I really should have changed the color of the sprite before I poured it in but I wasn't thinking so I had to mix it but I put my green food coloring and and here's me mixing it, making a mess to try to get it to turn green. But I have no fear, I finally got it all mixed through. And I'm putting my whipped cream on it. Now you don't have to do that, but I wanted to. And yeah, it was super good. And it tastes like fruity. So I don't know, I really liked it. And I hope you guys try it out. Okay. Probably for the most healthiest thing I'm in this, I'm um, is kale chips, and it's actually super, super good. So what I'm doing is, since I got a bag, you kind of have to tear off the skin too. You want to get that skin off because it tastes really better when you have that skin with it when you're cooking it. But you want to get all the kale and um, like like inside the bowl. So then once you do that, you're going to take some olive oil, and you don't need very much. I kind of put a little too much, but you're going to mix it up thoroughly so it can get all over the kale and then I drop some out of the bowl wow typical and then after I get done doing that I'm gonna spread it all out I'm like like on a pan and, and, then, and then I'm gonna take some garlic powder and you don't want to put very much because it will be salty and I I do that a lot and then my sister was helping me out and she put too much but I tried to tell her to stop and then you put it in the oven for 350 and you're not going to leave it in there for very long at all it cooks really fast and you'll notice that when it's done your um it's going to be shriveled up and yeah so that's fun it's going to be shriveled up and it's going to look like you don't have you very like much. it <laughs> yes hey but you don't like it kylan do you like it yeah good kylan do you like it yeah. success when kids like I'm gonna be a good mom when I get on. That's hard to tell. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, my kids gonna love me. So, alright, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. And please try out these drinks and treats. And I hope you enjoy. Alright, bye.